disappointing. That's weird. And yet many of us came from Hong Kong or many part of China are so used to subway. And the question is, why are we putting the new Canadians back to cars when jamming the street and consuming more gas and producing more pollutions? And we can't get around efficiently around the great GTA. And no emerging economy in the world is building LRT that we know of. So we found it ridiculous. So here's the member panel. And I'd like to maybe whatever they want to say add to what I'm going to say. But we have a quick survey. We are still counting the numbers. We will be presenting to the city council tomorrow. And uh, it's within the last of the week, it's a historical number. And we will be sending our view to the uh, councillors. Hopefully, they make some sound decisions from then onward for the future of our city and our children. Thank you so much. We need a vision for this, uh, this city, a city of our size. LRT is not working for us, and we really have to have a vision. We need somebody who really have the guts to say, we are doing this for the future, for the quality of our life. And uh, I hope that our city council really, uh, when they vote, they think carefully for the people, not just for political gain. Well, I want to say, listen up, Scarborough, take a look at the construction out there. That's what's going on. That's what you're going to go through every day, every month, every year until this LRT is done. So get out there, contact your city councillors, and get, let's get some subways built. Rob Ford was elected with the voice of the people on a platform for subways. Now the rest of council wants to hijack this, uh, this group and uh, build LRTs. It's not what the people of Scarborough want. It's not what the people of Toronto want. Get out there, support Subways, support Rob Ford tomorrow. I'm Ron Banerjee. I'm with the Canadian Hindu Advocacy. There's a large Hindu community here in Scarborough. There's a large Hindu community in Toronto. In New Delhi, India, they've built a, they've built a subway system. Ten, three times the size of Toronto's in less than 10 years. Now, parts of downtown Toronto parts of North York, they've had subways for a long time. They've had subway networks, and yet when it comes to building a subway network, a subway, one simple subway out here in Scarborough, they're telling us that we need uh, maybe special revenue tools, we need taxes, we need a special tax just to fund this one little subway line out here to Scarborough. So the question arises, when the subways were built in downtown Toronto, in North York, the Shepherd subway line over in North York, were there any special revenue tools? Were there special taxes imposed on the people specifically for that purpose? No, there weren't. It came right out of general revenues. So it's unfair, and a lot of the emerging communities, uh, the communities that are very wealthy, that are very educated, well-educated, the Hindu community, the Chinese community, some of the most educated communities in Canada live here in Scarborough. So it is blatantly unfair, blatantly unfair for people to have subways for all the other neighborhoods where the, uh, let's, let's put it very bluntly, where the ethnic mix is a little bit different than out here. And when it comes to us getting our subway network, it can be done. We don't need special taxes to build a subway up here. We need to explore options like PPP, public-private partnership, that they used to build the Canada Line out in Vancouver. They need to explore other prospects, other possibilities, such as the possibility of possibly building a casino out here somewhere in Scarborough and get the casino builder to fund the subway extension. There are ways of getting it done other than tax and spend, which seems to be the only solution that certain group of people have. I thank Rob Ford and his staff and the, the mayor for supporting our communities, for supporting the interests of educated, hard-working Canadians and delivering solutions to them. Support Rob Ford.